Tucked away in the brain's intricate labyrinth lies the pineal gland, a small yet significant organ, often likened to the third eye for its profound symbolism and mysterious functions. This gland, the source of melatonin, has intrigued scientists and spiritual seekers alike for centuries. For a long time, the true role of the pineal gland remained an enigma concealed within the cerebral folds. It was like a hidden gem, its purpose as obscure as the dark side of the moon. However, delve into the annals of ancient scriptures, such as Genesis 32.30, and you'll find intriguing references to this gland. Here, Jacob's proclamation of seeing God face to face is at a place he named Pineal hints at an age-old understanding of its deeper spiritual significance. The pineal gland, in various mystical traditions, is revered as a portal to spiritual and metaphysical realms. It's not just an organ, but a bridge between the tangible and the intangible, the seen and the unseen. To some, it's the seat of intuition and consciousness, believed to unlock higher planes of existence, fostering enlightenment and inner wisdom. In contrast, modern science views the pineal gland through a pragmatic lens, acknowledging it as a crucial part of our endocrine system. This tiny gland plays a pivotal role in hormone regulation and is intimately linked to our sleep patterns and circadian rhythms. But the pineal gland story extends beyond the confines of biology. Its symbolism is richly woven into the fabric of history and culture. The pine cone, often used to represent the pineal gland, is a revered emblem across various ancient civilizations. From the mystical Anunnaki of Sumerian lore to the grand sculptures of ancient Egypt and the sacred art of the Mayans, the pine cone has left its imprint across eons. This symbolic representation resonates with the Fibonacci sequence, a mathematical pattern that echoes throughout the natural world. From the intricate design of pine cone scales to the grand spiral galaxies, this sequence reveals a cosmic connection, hinting at the pineal gland's link to the universe's grand design. Returning to the realm of science, the pineal gland's function in sleep regulation is a topic of ongoing research and fascination. This gland orchestrates a symphony of hormones, each playing a vital role in our well-being and connecting us to the natural world's rhythms. In summary, the pineal gland, a small part of our brain, is a nexus of science and spirituality, a meeting point of the physical and metaphysical. It stands as a testament to our ongoing quest to understand the mysteries of the human body and its connection to the broader universe. Within the depths of night, between 10 sun p.m. and 3 hours a.m., the pineal gland orchestrates a symphony of hormonal activity, especially during the hush of winter months. Under the watchful eye of the moon, influenced by the rhythmic dance of the tides, this gland becomes a conductor of sorts. It responds to the ballet of light and shadow, receiving cues through the optic nerve, which are then relayed to the brain's master clock. This internal timekeeper, in turn, signals the pineal gland to release its quartet of hormones. Melatonin, often dubbed the nighttime architect, plays a lead role in this nocturnal performance. It doesn't just coax us into sleep, it's the restorer and healer of our body, mending damaged cells and fortifying our immune system. This hormone, replete with antioxidant properties, is the unsung hero of our nightly rejuvenation. Then there's serotonin, the harbinger of happiness. Balanced levels of serotonin sprinkle our mood with contentment and well-being. It's like emotional seasoning, adding flavor to our life's experiences. Serotonin reminds us why early bedtime isn't just about discipline, but about nurturing joy and satisfaction in our lives. The pineal gland's repertoire includes arginine vasotocin, a hormone that moonlights as a natural analgesic. It's fascinating how our body harbors its own pain relief system, 
releasing this hormone in the witching hours. However, the effectiveness of this painkiller hinges on the elimination of metabolic byproducts, a task where exercise plays a pivotal role. Ecclesiastes poetically captures the essence of sleep's sweet embrace for the laboring man. Physical activity primes our body for restful slumber, enhancing the efficacy of these hormonal ministrations. Arginine not only alleviates pain, but also paves the way for deeper, more restorative sleep. During these nocturnal hours, another hormone, epithalamion, takes the stage. This hormone is a cerebral nurturer, boosting our brain's capacity to learn and absorb new information. It's a reminder of the importance of lifelong learning and the role of sleep in cognitive preservation. These nightly hormonal releases are just the tip of the iceberg. Dr. Matthew Walker's book, Why We Sleep, sheds light on intriguing research involving rats, providing insights into human sleep patterns. This research unveils the dichotomy of rapid eye movement, REM, and non-rapid eye movement, NREM, sleep phases. While REM sleep showcases a bustling brain and darting eyes, NREM is characterized by a tranquil brain and still eyes. During NREM sleep, the brain operates like a courier, transferring the day's experiences from the short-term memory depot of the hippocampus to more permanent storage. This sleep phase is not just restful, it's essential for memory consolidation and cognitive health. As night unfolds, our brain and body engage in a delicate dance of restoration and learning, guided by the pineal glands hormonal symphony. During the NRM phase, our brains embark on an intricate journey of memory transfer. Memories initially stored in the hippocampus are methodically moved to the cortex for long-term keeping. Concurrently, the NREM phase activates the brain's glymphatic system, a remarkable neurological janitor that tidies up the cerebral landscape. As brain cells contract, interstitial fluid flows more freely sweeping away the detritus of neuronal activity and cellular energy expenditure. This cleansing process targets not just physical waste, but emotional clutter as well, with forgiveness playing a curious role in facilitating emotional detoxification. The REM phase, on the other hand, is a theater of dreams, where rapid eye movements signify a vibrant mental activity. This phase is not just for vivid dreaming, but also for cementing and validating the day's learnings. Dr. Matthew Walker's research sheds light on how these cycles of NREM and REM sleep unfold in 90-minute intervals, painting a dynamic picture of our nocturnal brain activity. Imagine someone adhering to a sleep schedule from 9.00 p.m. to 5.00 a.m. The initial 90-minute phase, predominantly NREM, sees a flurry of cerebral housekeeping. As the night progresses, the balance shifts, with REM sleep gaining the upper hand in the later stages, especially between 3 a.m. and 5 a.m., where dreams dominate. This pattern explains why dreams are often more vivid and memorable if one awakens in the early morning hours and then falls back asleep. However, for those who postpone their bedtime to midnight, the consequences are more than just reduced melatonin or serotonin levels. They miss a critical window of the brain's cleansing routine and risk retaining unprocessed memories in their short-term storage. Dr. Walker's study involving students further illustrates this point, showing that adequate sleep around eight hours dramatically enhances information retention and cognitive performance. Dr. Walker's insights extend beyond sleep duration to include environmental and behavioral factors. He advocates for the benefits of sleeping in a room with open windows and daily exposure to sunlight to regulate the body's circadian rhythm. This rhythm, influenced by light and dark signals processed through the optic nerve, plays a crucial role in our overall mental health as evidenced by its disruption in many depression cases. 
He also warns against late-night activities that disrupt natural sleep patterns, such as watching movies or excessive screen time. Further, he cautions against the impact of caffeine and refined sugars, particularly for those who consume them in an attempt to prolong wakefulness for studying. His research suggests that abstaining from these stimulants and prioritizing early bedtimes can significantly improve information retention. All right, let's wrap up our journey through the mysterious and fascinating world of the pineal gland and the vital role it plays in our sleep and overall well-being. This tiny gland, often likened to a third eye, is much more than a biological entity. It's a symbol of connection between the physical and spiritual realms. We've seen how it regulates our sleep patterns, influences our mood, and aids in the body's healing process. The insights from Dr. Matthew Walker's research highlight the importance of adequate sleep for cognitive function and emotional well-being. So, what's the takeaway? Prioritizing sleep, tuning into our natural rhythms, and making small lifestyle adjustments can make a big difference. Whether it's sleeping in a well-ventilated room, getting enough sunlight, or avoiding late-night stimulants, these choices can enhance the quality of our sleep and our life. Thanks for joining this exploration. Remember, valuing your sleep is valuing your health. And speaking of wisdom, don't miss our latest video where we dive into the fascinating world of the 12 universal laws that govern our lives daily. Understanding these laws can transform the way you perceive and interact with the world around you.